Welcome everyone. Now go. <laughs> Welcome everyone. <laughs> it's Miss Laura and Miss Jamie, Ms. Jamie Hi. here at the library, the Lehigh Library. So we're kind of excited to do this program. Yes. So it's going to be um, an art program mostly for kind of tweens, teens, adults, but certainly all of you can join if you want us to. So if you want to. So we're going to show you some fun techniques. This first one we're going to do is with Q-tips. Can you believe it? We're going to paint a picture with Q-tips. So you can find all sorts of these great ideas on YouTube. Um, this particular idea was from Jay Lee Painting. So there's great stuff you can, can refer to if you want professional stuff, you know. So, okay, first thing we're going to do is get our Q-tips ready. So I want you to take five Q-tips and you're going to put them so that, this will be a little tricky to show you. You're going to put them so that you have three kind of at the top here, and I'll show you one that's already done. So you can kind of see that. So you need kind of a space in between the Q-tips. All right, so we're going to start by making the basket, and we're going to kind of just take it in a little bit of a half circle, kind of. Just a little, you know, so we'll show you. So dip it in your paint. You need two colors of paint for the basket. So, and then you're just going to take it and do it in a line. And kind of four times across, maybe. And then do the bottom, and I'll kind of show you how it, how it looks here. So it's going to be something similar to kind of that. That's a little big, but, you know, for, <laughs> for our demonstration right here. So, all right. How are you doing, Miss Good. Jamie? It looks great. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is fill in, you're gonna take one Q-tip and put it in, I should have showed you the colors that we're using for the basket. So, you're gonna take one Q-tip, you're gonna put it in the kind of yellow, this is kind of gonna be your highlights. And you're going to go in between where you did that brown. So, and it doesn't have to be perfect. And obviously, you guys will do it slower at home. We're kind of doing it quick, huh? Speed round. Jamie. That's right. I'm almost done. <laughs> so it's going to look something like that, but much, much nicer when you do it. We'll have Miss Jamie show you hers. And Miss Jamie has never done this before, by the way. I'm learning with you guys. Yes. So I'm sure we're going to be extremely impressed. All right. Ta da! <laughs> beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, next, let's get 20 Q-tips and bundle them together with an elastic. You have to kind of make sure that they're, I don't know, somewhat flat, you know, because they're going to ask where you're going to put the paint on. Okay, so do 20, bundle it in an elastic. Also, while we're at it, let's take 10 and do the same thing. So we're going to make smaller bundles. And these are our paint brushes. Perfect. Yeah. So, um, this painting has three different colors on the flowers. This painting also has three different colors. You can do it though with just white or pink or, you know, and just do the one. But I think we'll do the three. Perfect. Okay. Miss, what colors did you pink. choose? Pink. Yeah. Hers. Yeah. So show them your plate. So I have some pinks that I'm going to mix together because it has sparkles in it. And then a darker <laughs> pink and then a white for a highlight. Nice. And I'm going to do it with three colors, but I'm going to do green as kind of a background and then a darker blue and a lighter blue. If I hold it too, you know, the paint will run off. So, all right, take your 20 bundle, your bundle that has 20 in it and put your darkest color. I'm going to do green. Doing that dark. Yes. 
And it doesn't have to be, just kind of do it at the top of the basket and all kind of around. Do you need to, do you need to dab off excess paint? You can. Okay. Because sometimes it does get a little bit, I mean, it's nice to have a, some excess paint a little bit, but you don't want it all over like that. Okay. So, and then let me kind of show you here. So see how I've kind of let it kind of fall, like it's falling off of the basket? You kind of want to do that a little bit so it kind of looks like it's coming all Cascading around. Cascading down. Mm -hmm. Cascading down. That's a beautiful thing to say. <laughs> So it's kind of fun. You could get your aggression out. <laughs> I'm locked up. Yeah. So you know, Miss Linda, I did not even turn on my mic. Should we try it now? Everybody, wait, wait for a minute. Okay. Well, I got to turn on the sound system. <laughs> Never mind. We're not going to do the mic. <laughs> Listen, we're trying. So yeah. And you might even want to put some green cascading down just a little bit on the basket or your, you know, dark pink, however you want to do that. Just your darker color. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to leave mine kind of like that, kind of a mishmash of stuff. Let's see your beautiful arrangement, Miss Jamie. Okay. So far. Perfect. Perfect. Now, take, um, well, if I were you, this is how I would do it, but you can decide. I would take the other side of your 20 bundle and do the next color. Perfect. So I'm going to do the darker blue. I'm going to mix these pinks together. And this one you don't have to be very careful about either. to dab off a tiny bit of the paint because it does get a little bit goofy after a minute. Oh. All right, I don't know if you're going to be able to see mine very well, but I think we can see Miss Jamie's quite well. Okay, I've kind of put the blue on top of the green. of the highlight. It'll break it up. Yeah. So see, so you can see that light pink really well. Isn't that pretty? Ours are totally different, so that's kind of fun. Yeah. So, all right, so the last thing we need to do is put in our highlights. Um, so if you notice, highlights kind of sit at the top of your flowers a little bit. You know, so if you're doing anything that cascades down, you'll want the highlights to kind of be on the top of it. So they're on the top of the branches kind of a thing. Um, so you have to be a little bit more careful with the highlights just to, you know, kind of make it look cool. So use your smaller bundle of 10. So, and then put on your lighter color. This is where you can kind of define where your flowers are a little bit by where you put the highlights. Like I said, they kind of rest a little bit on the top. And no matter how you do it, it's gonna look cool. And you can turn your bundle around if you want a little bit of a different effect and use the other side of the Q-tips. How's it looking, Miss Jamie? It good. Oh, I think it's I beautiful. Like it. Oh, it's so pretty. I like it a lot. So, 
kind of gone in and highlighted it just a little bit. Now you kind of notice how I've got some space in between my basket and you know I might want to go in and take one q-tip and just kind of you know fill in the brown a little bit and maybe put a few little dots around so that it looks like the flowers are falling on the ground a little bit you know next to the basket yes. um, so lovely i think it was yeah. so fun so hopefully you guys will have a great time doing it and we will see you next week for another new and fantastic art project yay see you later Bye.